the actress Dominique Thorne has already played Riri Williams in a project and of course will soon be playing the character again in her very own standalone Disney Plus series. And recently the actress Dominique Thorne opened up on the comparisons to Iron Man, some of the outlandish claims that she only exists to replace Iron Man aka Robert Downey Jr. and a little bit more. So I got a question for you. If they were to introduce Dick Grayson, a.k.a. Nightwing, into the Batman, are people suddenly going to be very upset and angry that there is a sidekick or a potential character that does sort of the same thing but differently? No, you say. It's because we're used to it, right? Exactly. Um, that's what Ironheart is. A lot of people that have never read the comics or really care about anything outside of YouTube videos that are made for hatred of Ironheart or posts legit think that the character only exists to replace literally Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. They will not acknowledge that the character is almost nothing like Iron Man outside of some visual cues that they put in there to obviously tell you, hey, this is sort of like that, but not the same, right? It's like Miles Morales as Spider-Man, but you still have Peter and they're completely different. Well, yeah, recently... Speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, Dominique Thorne, Ironheart herself, talked about this, and she said that at one point, yeah, she was hesitant and doubtful about joining this and had concerns because she figured that's exactly how people would see it. But she says that now that people have seen what they've done with Wakanda Forever and how they're going to be handling the character in her own series, which she doesn't want to spoil, she says that there's obvious changes that people are going to see that are completely different and separate her from Tony Stark, from Iron Man, and that she's not a replacement. She's just somebody that's influenced by him and, well, um, uses the legacy he left behind and becomes their own hero. And I saw some people react to this by saying, well, it's stupid, they're still replacing him, there should only be one Iron character, one person is flying around in a suit, completely ignoring that James Rhodes' war machine has been doing what Iron Man has done, except you know, off-screen and, well, largely on-screen in team-up movies, and nobody complained about that. In the comics, nobody complained that he was going to be a replacement. So I don't see why people are doing it with her. Okay, never mind. I do see why they're doing it with her. She's an African-American female, and we know that's feared these days in the MCU, but come on. Like, go pick up the Ironheart comics. You'll see what she's talking about. So, you'll know what to expect. 